Corey is in an AI company and the nature of what you provide is very technical, very low level. How are you thinking about agents in the security team? How are you thinking about agents that augment your security team? Are you even there yet in terms of thinking about this or is it more of just more on the the hardware, the firmware level? Like where's your, where's your thinking? Well, first of all, I'm very excited. I cannot wait <laughs> for, you know, our agentic overlords. We are in the, in the, in the we certainly have a lot of very low level technical problems, but we're also in, in a position to think about that. And, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm very optimistic, certainly long-term as, as to where, where this leads. I think I'll give you, rather than, you know, talking about this theoretically, I'll give you a specific example that, and this is not going to be agentic. It's still going to be the older school LLM, you know, and so on. But I think it maybe illustrates the optimism that I have, which is, so design docs, right? How do you, how do you write them? You write them short, you write them long, do you write them at all? Does it even matter? And the discussion I had recently, you know, I think the, and it's going to be extreme in a sense, but like you have to have a design doc and you need to remove everything from it that could have been written by LLM. That will probably make your design doc go very short, but it's going to contain that exact essence that an LLM could not have made a decision on because fundamentally it'll just make a decision whichever way you, you guide it, but there are local constraints, local environment, local talent, local budgets, you know, and so on and so forth that, that aren't going to be kind of known or correctly expressed. And sometimes, frankly, there's just the gut feel there, there is sort of, you know, senior engineering gut feel about, okay, this is the way to do this. And what, and what design doc that has every fluff possible from it removed forces us to do is it forces us to expose the, the gut feel, in other words, intuition to, to kind of the audience and so on. And I think that's, you know, freeing, freeing people from writing the opposites and upon opposites of design 